Hey guys, Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter here. Um, we are at the Brunswick Naval Air Station Base in Brunswick, Maine, which is now Executive uh, Office uh, Air Force Base, not for the Navy anymore. But they've had this thing on display. There's a black spade up top. They've had this thing on display since or easily the 1980s um, when I was a kid. And I uh, wanted to share you with you guys this old warplane. Look at that, the back of this is open right up. Here's where the uh, flames used to come out. They obviously took the engine out, but right here, oh, there's beer cans and stuff in there. Of course, it's Heather Witchens with me on this adventure, and uh, pretty impressive. We'll go to the memorial placard up front to show you exactly what she is and who she is. Look at that, the ace of spades. Paul David Lagle. Look at that. There's the missile still, Heather's touching. Look at that. And it's free. You can just park right there and walk over. It's obviously try to be respectful, but it is the P2V5 Neptune. She's the Neptune. Land-based anti-submarine warfare patrol aircraft. It was in service from 1947 to 1970, and a crew of 10 can cruise at 200 miles per hour for 10 to 12 hours straight. And it's massive. Quite the eye catcher off the side of the road here. There's the front window, there's no one in it obviously, but Heather's checking out the propeller. Look at this thing. Beautiful. So it's got the jack of spades and the ace of spades. VP21, Paul David Langle. And here's the here's the front. There's the landing gear. Probably fiberglass. Wow. Look at the propeller, Hamilton Standard Propeller. Does it move? Oh, it ain't moving. Big engine. More tires here. Look at this. That's really neat. There is one spot where you can actually look at that. This Navy. Is massive. It is massive, it really is. <laughs> wow. The lighting is hard to see, I think, but you guys can see the... I'm going to try to without losing it. Do you have a flashlight Let me see. Option. Let's, ooh, I don't even need it. Wow, look, uh, I do light. have... Oh, Let's look inside. Don't drop it. Let's look. Yeah. There's the back. I'm going to take it out. There's the front. Oh, babe. Can you see my hand? It's Heather's hand, yeah. Right here. Oh, hello. <laughs> I am head deep in this airplane. You are head deep. It's like she's birthing you. Whoa. Oh, I could take a piece, but I'm not going to. Wow, that was intense. Look at that, historians. The she bottom of a. She just birthed you. She just, I just. My mom's a jet. There's a window people That'd can look great. in. Navy VP21, very cool. And they're building something looks like it's going up, so hopefully this stays here. There is a fence around it, but and there's the back of her. Wow. So at least 40 years it's been here, right? Really? Yeah. And I saw service from the 1940s to the 1970s. This was built in the 40s, which is mind-blowing when you think about what was around in the 40s. This, we just got done eating at Fat Boys Drive-In, which is like an old school drive-in, like a, like a sock hop drive-in where girls come out on roller skates and stuff like that. <laughs> had some good food, had a couple good of the classic burger they had there, homemade onion rings. Uh, we're on our way now to Harpswell, Land's End, Bailey's Island, stuff like that. Uh, but we had to check this out. Heather's never seen it. Yeah, look at that. Something's rattling. Look at the missiles. Damn the torpedoes! Did you get the other Maybe. part that has clear ones? The what? Clear ones, so that has like the red face. Yeah, I did in the front, yeah. So thanks for watching guys. If you're in Brunswick, Maine area, check it out. It's right by the Air Force Base. And by Fat Boys and by it's basically in Cook's Corner is what they call it. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, go out and explore some history. Make sure you subscribe now.